here we go again, video three. Um, I uh, got a bit of insight on the uh, length of the driven element for this. And I did that by emailing the guy who, got, who, the plan, who put the plans up on the interwebs. And he was very helpful. Uh, thank you very much, Frank, if you watch. And um, here's the ends of the loop. Right here, one there, one there. That's the start, that's the finish. And this here is the uh, tuning capacitor. Let's see if we can see it going around. Oh, pretty. Okay. All well done. That's just actually sitting, pushed down firmly into this uh, mounting block, plastic mounting block. And then that's cable tied onto, see if you can see that. Maybe, I can't tell. Uh, that's cable tied onto the one of the uh, main conduits there. So then what I have to do is cut this wire to the length here. And um, solder that onto there. Get the other one. I might solder this one onto there actually. And then solder that one onto uh, one of the little tabs there. And then we can uh, give it a go. Well, I've actually, um, can you see under here, this uh, driven element, I've got, I've just got uh, a, uh, Joiner there goes in there, and the other one, other side goes in the top bit. So um, then I can just hook in a bit of RG6, not RG6. What am I saying? RG58 or even 213 with a connector on it, um, and uh, hopefully she works. So here's the plans. Put the uh, link up on the forum, but if someone wants, I can. I might even put it on the YouTube channel as well, and uh, people can have it. Give it a bit of a crack, even if it doesn't work. It's a good experiment anyway. All right, thanks for watching, guys and girls and people and things and RF nerds. See us.